Ireland has many saints. However, the most famous of all definitely has to be St. Patrick. I won't be talking about St. Patrick today. However, today I am going to talk about another man who at some point will be declared a saint, the Venerable Matt Talbot. At some point, the Catholic Church will certainly name him as the patron saint for people who wish to stop drinking. This is very suiting because Matt was a recovering alcoholic. And my story today is about his life. Matt was born in Ireland in 1858 to very poor, poor parents. He was never able to stay in one place with his family because they had to move a lot in order for his father to find work. So it was a very difficult life. At the age of 12, Matt had to quit school and go to work to help support his family. He got a job in a winery filling bottles, and it is there that he first met the temptation to start drinking, which later turned him into a serious alcoholic. Every time Matt got his paycheck from work, he would run to the pub and spend his entire check on alcohol. His alcohol problem became so serious that he couldn't control it, and when he would run out of money, he would steal things to sell just to be able to buy more alcohol. One day while visiting a pub, he noticed a man playing a fiddle. When the man got up and walked away for a few minutes, Matt snuck over, stole his fiddle, and went and sold it for money in order to drink. When he ran out of money and didn't have something to steal, he would mooch off friends in the pub who would conveniently buy him drinks. Matt had been without a job for a week and was on a real binge needing to drink and he thought he could go to the pub and his friends would for sure treat him and pay for all his booze. So he went to the pub one day and unbeknownst to him, his friends decided they weren't going to buy him drinks. So he wasn't able to drink at all and he sat alone in a corner thinking about how these people weren't his friends and he started contemplating his life and how serious of a drinking problem he had developed and he knew he had to stop. So he decided he was going to pray to God to help him stop drinking for three months. He was hoping that that would work. He went to the priest and he confessed his sin about drinking and about his thievery and he got it all off his chest. The priest absolved him of his sin, and Matt felt much better, so he decided to go to church and accept the Eucharist of Jesus Christ, and asked him to be healed and not want to touch alcohol for at least three months. Matt continued to pray every single day during that first three-month period, and he went to confession every single week. He fasted as well, which meant he didn't gorged himself on food and he controlled what he ate. Teaching himself that control also helped him to learn to control his desire to drink. He kept repeating this process over and over again and even though during that three months it was sheer torture for him, you know, he prayed and went to confession, that three months passed and he hadn't touched a drop, so he decided to renew his commitment to God for another three months, and he did this over and over and over again. Now you remember me telling you about the man he stole the fiddle from. Matt started to feel guilty and wanted to make amends to this man, so he sought out this man, however he couldn't find him. It appeared that either he had passed away or he had moved on to another village. Matt decided at that point to give the money to the church and ask the priest to please, please, please say a mass for this man as a way for Matt to apologize for stealing his fiddle and as a way to pay him back. 
but not only just for this man, but also for everybody else that he stole from. And Matt wanted to pay back every single person and apologize for what he had done. As time went on, people noticed a great change in Matt, that he'd become much more of a holy person. Every morning when he would get up, on his way to work, he would stop at the church and go to the tabernacle and pray to Jesus. Then, every day after work, on his way home, he again would stop at the church in prayer and pray for help. When he got home, he was very diligent about his fasting, which helped him resist the temptation to drink. Through fasting, we're able to get a lot of grace from God. And when, we fa when he fasted, people noticed that he seemed much more at peace, much happier, and he had a radiance about him. Matt gave up alcohol for three months at a time and kept renewing that commitment to God. And he renewed that commitment for a total of 41 years. Now, be assured that during that 41 years, of course he was tempted and, he, and it was probably torture sometimes, but he depended on God and he prayed and was diligent and stayed clean for 41 years. Then at the age of 69, he fell ill. Ireland was hit with an awful heat wave and Matt fell gravely ill and passed away. We've never been able to really find any pictures of Matt except this one. I hope you enjoyed this story about the venerable Matt Talbot. May God bless you.